up everybody? It's your boy, 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 do, 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 I am back with you for another one, another video for you tonight. This is five scary th videos that will keep you awake tonight. I put together by Serge Spooks. I want to go to sleep. I want to stay awake. Oh, well, I guess I'll be up all night. <laughs> I'm always up all night anyway. Um, you have a video you want me to react to? Let me know in the comments below. My Discord on YouTube, we crosses, and social media into the DMs, and I'll get to them as soon as possible. I cut the red frame header out off because I think it looks a little better this way. If you prefer the head red cam, the border, for the video, please let me know and I'll put them back on if you like it better than just this. Anyways, let's get into this video and I hope you guys enjoy. What am I doing? <laughs> and if you like the video, hit that sub button if you like, if you haven't already, hit that notification bell to let you know when I post another video for you guys and hit that like button to let me know you like the video. And help me out a little bit. Let's go! Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five scary videos. So, let's begin. Kind of kid. Abandoned mine shafts are some of the most unsettling places anybody can venture into. There's just something highly creepy about walking into a dark mine shaft with nothing but you and a small flashlight to help you guide your way. And if you are like YouTube or TV are exploring, you could potentially find something disturbing while exploring too. In a video uploaded on December 25th, 2019, we can see the channel's owner recording himself as he walks inside an abandoned Soviet mine. And at first, nothing really seems out of the ordinary. He shows us a couple of things in the area like a workbench that was still in there as well as the mine straining system and that was seemingly all that he captured. But something very eerie happens around the same time that frightened the man. Take a listen. Workbench here and some equipment. They've got a good drainage system, it's working the way it's supposed to. You see the water is shunted off to the side here and it's flowing out, which is what you want. There's some of the uh, stuff on the workbench. I'm not even really sure where to begin with this one. But if you go back, turn the volume up, and listen to that last section again, where I abruptly tapered off, you'll hear this otherworldly scream or howl coming out from deeper within the mine. Step on a workbench. The channel owner explains that he has no idea what he heard in the mine that day, and also says that he is a big skeptic when it comes to all things related to the paranormal, and talks about the scream that he heard while in the mine. He also said that it genuinely creeped him out, and he still to this day has no idea what he heard in the mine that day. What do you think the sound was? Leave your thoughts in the comments really below. Number four. Walking around in a strange and unfamiliar area, especially late at night, could be downright terrifying. But it seems like this is exactly what YouTuber Leviathan did on January 11th, 2020, in a video sent to me with the title, Would Someone Tell Me What This Is? The video, which is only a minute in length, seems pretty natural at first, although there's yeah. most definitely an unsettling that vibe works. and atmosphere that you will get when watching it. The area he walks around seems almost too quiet, like you could hear a pin drop. Towards the end of the video, he seemingly opens a door where he sees a parked vehicle, but what happens next is truly creepy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Sorry, I keep came in. Yeah, but... Bizarre, almost otherworldly sound can be heard coming from the area where Leviathan was standing. It sounded like it could have either been some sort of creature or a very unnerving sounding person. It seems like we may never know what he heard that day, but what we do know is that this is a sound that you would never want to hear late at night. Air time, give me a second. Sorry. This next entry comes to us from some sort of a Japanese cooking show and is only 20 seconds in length. Everything seems like it would on a normal cooking show. The camera is pointed on a man who is enjoying a bowl of noodles, but eagle-eyed viewers may see something that will chill their bones. Take a look and see if you can spot it. <laughs> what the fuck? You see that? Right there. I don't know. That could be a person just standing there picking. It's so weird how you can just see his face, though. I don't know. I don't know, but I really don't. If you did not see it, when the camera angle is from the other side of the man, we can see an incredibly creepy head poking out from the corner, yeah, out that. from the darkness. It seems like nobody on the show noticed this either, as they carry on as if nothing happened. To be fair, this could be something as simple as one of the crew members poking their head in the room during I'm taping. Thinking. But it could also be the ghost of somebody making their appearance on TV. This was a video that was uploaded all the way back in 2012. And it BS. seems like there has been no explanation given to this video after all these years. I can't BS on this one. What do you think sorry, it was in the video? Was it just a person peeking their head in or was it a ghost? This one's been awful lame, sorry folks. This next one was sent to me directly by the channel Moxley's Crazy Adventures, who frequently uploads videos of himself exploring abandoned buildings and typically uploads all things paranormal and exploration related and has done so since July of 2019. Okay. On January 12th, 2020, he uploaded a video of himself exploring an abandoned and haunted workshop and for a while, nothing too crazy happens. We get to see some of the creepy interior, but besides that, everything seems fairly normal. That is, however, until we get to about 14 minutes into the video, when something strange happens. Hear that? Shit. Door opening closing. Oh, that's box being thrown. Dude. Somebody walks out that way again, you know it's fake. So, that ball just rolled from this side. You didn't just flick the ball in there. Okay. No one there. What, babe? I'm moving here, yeah. Sorry about that. It was in it. A ball rolls right down the hallway, almost like it did in the 1980s Stanley Kubrick film The Shining where a young Danny Torrance is playing on the floor and a ball suddenly rolls right up to him. But if that wasn't creepy enough, just two minutes or so later, Moxley hears something very strange while in one of the workshop's many rooms. Take a listen. A spirit box. 
The voice which said, just going to talk to him, certainly does not sound like it was that of a person's voice. Instead, it sounded like a ghost, as the voice sounded a little bit muffled and almost like a whisper. Do you think that this was the voice of a ghost captured on camera, or was it just the voice of a person? Let me know in the comments. The Urban Project is a YouTube channel that follows the channel owner as he explores abandoned buildings and is a destination for all things supernatural. This video which he sent to me showcases him as he does a 3am solo challenge at the Burgess farm. As he walks around the farm, everything seems fairly normal except for the rundown look that the building has. But besides all of the creepy and unsettling atmosphere, Nothing really strange happens until about 16 minutes in. The man recording walks around a little bit more, but he is something that spooks him. You're doing something like this alone. Some people would never dream about doing it alone. I know I'm gonna have to aside now. I'm just gonna keep it just gonna keep it going, I'm not gonna cut it. Oh f Sorry about that, folks. Okay, um, let's go back here and then start from there. Oh, Sphere. Nothing really strange spooks him. I know I'm gonna have to do a side now. I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep it going. I'm not gonna cut it. Oh, f f no, what was that? Tell me where that bang. You know, it sounded like it sounded like something rolling. During the video, he is seen exploring the Burgess farm all by himself, meaning that there should not be anybody else in the building with him that could have possibly made that sound. It could have been simply another person pulling a prank on him, or another person also attempting to explore the area. But it could also be a mysterious and dangerous ghost knocking things around in the building. And that was 5 scary videos. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, 5 scary videos my ass. None of that was scary. None of it. None of it was even spooky. And most of it can be a sprained. So, yeah. It definitely will not keep me awake tonight. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope to see you guys in my live streams. Link down below. Um, You are loved. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs>